All right, folks, welcome to 90.90 Quadratic for your quiz review uh, for geometry. Uh, tomorrow's 11.1, 11.3 1, quiz. Guys, here are the answers with a little bit of work shown on uh, your quiz review, which we went over today. Area for a uh, parallelogram is base times height. You're given everything you need to know in 1 and 4. You're going to have to do a little Pythagorean theorem or just know those special right triangles. 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 9, 15, 12, 5, 12, 13. Uh, 8, 15, 17, 7, 24, 25, all big ones you might see tomorrow. All right, if you don't know that, you're going to have to drop perpendicular uh, lines down and really find those heights um, using the Pythagorean theorem, like on 3. All right, you're given everything you need to know on 4. No big deal right there. Again, we did this in class, so these are just the answers. Guys, you can either use trig or you can uh, use the fact that we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle in 5, twice the... Smallest side is equal to 12, so the smallest side is 6. So it means the height is 6 root 3, which is 10.4. However you type it in, those are the two answers you get. Again, you could have used a little bit of a sign. You could have said sine 60 is h over 12, and you've gotten 10.4. Okay, here's what we got. It's a Pythagorean theorem, or that's a 3, 4, 5, a triple, a triangle doubled there. Again, Pythagorean triples, you're going to see a bunch of them on your quiz. You're given everything you need to know. It's one half base times height for a triangle. The base and the height come together to make a right angle. You do not use the hypotenuse on these at all. No height. 45, 45, 90 triangle here on 9. 10, you got to do some trig to figure out what x is. That is the height. You got the area right there. 30, 60, 90 triangle. Okay. That's the quickest way to do 11. You could, you know, put an X and a Y in there, do some trig, whatever you want. However you write your answer, those are the two different ones you get. Either if you use 12 root 3 or if you immediately call it 20.8. Side, side, side root 2. So 14, 14, 14 root 2. That's how you get your answer. Uh, 196 divided by 2. That looks good. Okay, Pythagorean theorem. Or if you know a 7, 24, 25 triangle, you have it right away. I use trig on 14, tangent 37 is opposite over adjacent. You get x to be 13.0, multiply it by 17.2, the heights, divide it by 2, 1 half base times height. Guys, an equilateral triangle can be broken into two congruent 30, 60, 90 triangles. You're given the base when you're given one of the congr three congruent sides. Then you just cut, I don't know, use the left side here, cut in half, 60, 30, 90. Opposite 30 is the smallest side, which is half of 24, 12. That makes the height 12 root 3. All right, same kind of thing here on 16. Cut 18 in half. 18 is the base, so this would be 9. Opposite 30 is the smallest side, so opposite 60 is the smallest side times root 3. And we got it. 1 half the height times base 1 plus base 2. Given everything we need to know on 17. 19, drop it down. 27 minus 19 gives you 8 for that part of the right triangle. 8, 15, 17 triangle. Again, Pythagorean theorem if you don't know that. All right. Again, pause this whenever you need to. We have an isosceles right triangle on 19. So when you do 20 minus 14, you're left with 3 and 3. That's your remaining 6. That's a 3, 4, 5 triangle for the heights. Just plug everything in there. Add the bases together. Then do your multiplication. All right, another isosceles one. This time you have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. one of those triangles. So 6 and 6. No Pythagorean theorem needed there, okay? If one base is 27, and that's 6, that's 6. If that's 27, then drop that down. That's 27, too. The other base is 39, and you get 198 square centimeters. Moving on, on the rhombus and the kite have the same formula. It's 1 half diagonal, 1 times diagonal, 2. And a rhombus, diagonals bisect each other. So if that is 7, that's 7. If that's 5, that's 5. One diagonal is 14, the other is 10. Multiply and divide by 2. 26 is the entire diagonal. If one side's 8, one part's 8, the other part's 8 as well. So the whole diagonal is 16. On this one, you got 5 and 5. One diagonal is 10. 5 blank 13. That blank is 12. If you don't know that, Pythagorean theorem. That's 12. That's 12. The whole thing's 24. Divide it by 2 when you find the product. If that is 8, so is that. The whole diagonal is 16. If that is 6, so is that. The whole diagonal is 12. Multiply and divide. Okay, uh, on the kites, you have one diagonal that's been bisected. So if that's four, that's four. You got eight, and that's the whole diagonal, 25. So that one's pretty easy. 
7 and 13 have not been bisected. So one diagonal is 20. The other one has to be 4 and 4. That's the di bisected one. That's the one that's been divided in two. One half of 8 and 20 gives you 80 square feet. Almost there, guys. Area of sector, leave in terms of pi. Area, area of a circle is pi r squared. You're, looking, you're taking a fraction of the area. So 90 of 360, or a fourth of pi r squared. A fourth of 36 pi is 9 pi square feet. There's the answer for 28. That's a third of 81 pi. 60 over 360 is a sixth of pi r squared. So about r. So if I tell you diameter tomorrow, make sure to cut it in half. On 30, 90 of 360 is a fourth of pi r squared. 60 over 360 is a sixth of pi r squared. 120 over 360 is a third of pi radius squared. All right, and the final two, guys. This support, you have one of these tomorrow. It's going to be four points. Find the area of the shaded segments. It's the area of the sector, like we did on the last one, minus the area of that triangle. So it's one-fourth because you're dealing with a quarter of it, 90 of 360 of pi radius squared minus one half of this will be always be isosceles because all radii are congruence one half times one half again break it down to 324 divided by four that's 81 pi type that in and you get 92.5 it says round to the nearest tenth make sure to read tomorrow lastly on 34 you're dealing again with a quarter of that circle one fourth pi r squared minus one half base times heights uh, 12 squared is 144. If you take a fourth of it and attach a pi, you get 36 pi. If you take half of it, you get 72. It's going to give you a final answer of 41.1 feet. This is 90.9, .9, the quadratic signing out.